You can name almost any plastic product and we'll probably find it on the beach. Especially here in the Oslo Fjord, it's crazy. The, uh, the whole inner part is just, what is it called, carpet bombed <laughs> with car wrecks, old boats, uh, fishing gear. You have a whole bunch of just household objects. Plastic stuff have thousands of chemicals. So it's, it's like a chemical soup we are doing into the sea. I've always been spending a lot of time on or by or near the, the ocean. And it was especially when I moved on from picking uh, seashells on the beaches to finding more and more plastic. Then eventually you start questioning where does this, all this plastic come from. We see the problem all the time and it's not hard to get inspired to do something. All these pieces of plastic, they, they break down into microplastic and they enter the food chain and it's ultimately ending up at our own plates. We have to be very kind of conscious about the fact that we can refuse a, a plastic single-use cup or cutlery or plates or, or whatever. It's, those are kind of the individual choices that we can make. I guess the most important thing is to consume less. And if you buy something, don't use it just once. Pick up litter, it's, it's really the small things that matter. When I mentioned the word microplastic five years ago, no one really understood. So we started up an expedition going from Denmark to Indonesia. And every day we had a trawl in the water. And only two days during those three years, we didn't find any microplastic in open waters. That's kind of the motto we have at Nordic Ocean Watch, Tavara uh, Havet. It's like we, we take care of the ocean. We have been doing marine litter issues for 50 years now. That's how it all started. The archipelago was filling up with marine litter and we wanted to act upon it. And that's still the core thing, what we do. The recycling system is a great example of how my tiny little contribution has been a big part of uh, developing a good system that can now be transported elsewhere. What we need to do is to take care of our own waste. We need to utilize the technologies and the solutions that we have access to, and which is these other countries don't have access to. climate change but we also need to act on plastic because plastic is a part of climate change. We need to provide assistance to regions or places that doesn't have the resource to fix this problem themselves locally. So if you want to learn more about these great organizations and the fight against plastic pollution, check out their website and follow National Geographic. <laughs>